So you want to know how to raise chickens at home by yourself? Well, I'm gonna give you a quick snappy video of how to do that real quick. So first of all, you're gonna need to actually have an efficient brooder. Most efficient brooders, they're not too expensive. But well, here's what an efficient brooder should look like. So basically what you have here is you have your feeding dish, obviously, heat lamp. Now this heat lamp, you raise it by a little bit every week, so it drops five degrees every week. And because it drops five degrees every week, once it meets like the outside temperature, like let's just say it's like 70 degrees in here, it's always 70 degrees outside, then that's when you can move your chickens. That's when it'll be semi-safe to move your chickens outside. A waterer, yeah. When I talk about heat lamps, I want to say you if you have a much bigger brooder, then you're gonna want gonna want to want two of these, and yeah, just one waterer if you have a small number of chickens. But if you have more than 15 chickens, that's when I'd recommend more than one waterer. So now that I've given you those tips and tricks on like setting up your brooder, now it's time to set them up outside. So I have two different options that you can go, two different routes. I don't care what one you choose, as long as you get your chickens outside before they're a year old or start laying eggs. Usually it's around like six or seven months. So first way you can go is you can keep them in a yard or you can free range them, but the coop stays put. Or you can put them in a yard and free range them, but you have a mobile chicken coop. To build this mobile chicken coop, you're gonna need a trailer and you're gonna have to rip that whole thing apart. I know, it sounds much more harder than it actually is, but it still does take a couple of weeks to complete the build. That's one I'd recommend because like, let's just say like a red tail hawk has discovered where your chickens are and takes one, let's just say. It's saddening at first, but that's when you correct your mistake. And that mistake is most likely you not moving your chickens. So with an, so with an automatic chicken coop, you can move them to wherever is necessary. So that way, if say like a hawk finds out where your chickens are, can move them all the way across the yard. It's, it's literally that easy. So now that they're outside, I want you to reflect on what you think you did right and what you did wrong while they were in, say, their brooder or their first week outside. I want you to reflect back on those first couple of weeks. See what you were doing wrong, see what you're doing right. So that way, if you're ever gonna plan on getting chickens in the future, you have a reference to look at. It's, it's that easy. Because references, they definitely do help. They've helped me out a lot, and I definitely think that references will help you out a lot. So that way, in the future, you can look at what you are doing wrong, so that way you cannot, so that way you don't repeat it if you're, say, getting new chickens. Another tip I'll have to combine in, this is basically like a bonus tip, because I want this video to be at least three minutes long, is basically this last tip I'm going to give you. Let me show it to you. So, you're going to need to cho choose what you want to do with your eggs. If you have a really small amount of chickens, chances are you can't really sell eggs, because... They're not really producing eggs at a high enough rate to basically like sell them. But if you're if you have like nine or ten chickens, you they are most likely creating eggs at a pretty steady rate, which would allow you to get more eggs that you can sell. And yeah, you should definitely go down the route of selling eggs. Good price is like three to five dollars. If it goes anywhere above that, chances are no one's gonna want to buy that. Some eggs can go for as much as eight dollars, but those have to be really high quality eggs and also one thing a cool little diy do this thing at home project is basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to take a store-bought egg crack it open and then take another cup and crack open one of your pastured or free-ranged eggs i want you to compare the yolk color they are both going to be yellow but one of them is going to be much lighter one of them is going to be much darker i'll let you guess what one of that is that was most likely the snappiest video i've ever had to make but it's 11 o'clock and I need to go back in to keep my streak alive, which has been up for almost 170 days now. So you know what, let's, let's go do that. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Quick video, I will most likely be doing a full length video on like the 5th or 6th of August. This is basically like a little preview as to what you're about to see. Anyway, I need to go in, upload this video, create a YouTube short so I can get some more views on this channel. And yeah, please consider subscribing because this video didn't take me too long to film, but it took me a while to think, almost an hour to think of this idea. That's it.